Good afternoon guys, Jerry again going to Bushcraft. I'm back with another video, something slightly different this time. Decided to do a bit of a refurb on a catapult that my dad made for me uh, a lot of years ago. Uh, now I'm total new when it comes to slingshots, I've only recently just got into it. Uh, so please excuse any mistakes or anything or any anything I'm talking about while I'm making a video, it's just, I just wanted to do it. So yeah, back to the, I'm going to put now the next clip what I filmed last week when I started uh, refer, refurbing the catapult and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it, here we go. So since I got back into the whole slingshot thing, I decided to dig out my very first slingshot. <laughs> now my dad made me this when I was seven, so that's over 30 years ago. I remember him cutting it from a tree for me. Going around a friend's uh, house whose dad had some spare tyres and cut in this one, I think it was like a glass cut or something. He cut the, the rubber off the tyres for a motorbike tyre or something like that, which isn't the best. This is a tongue off an old leather boot or shoe that he took off and sewed up the end and wrapped the ends around with string blessing. Now this additional modification of the uh, blue uh, gaffer tape, I thought, well that's my bad, I put that on a few years later for no reason whatsoever. But yeah, this is for me, uh, original like 1989-1990 catapult slingshot. So what I'm going to do with the plan is, is to take all this tape off, sand it, put some new bands on it obviously and uh, see if we can restore this one back to uh, some kind of form of glory. I would never throw it away obviously because it was something my dad made me but see what we can do with it. So it's proving to be quite a messy job. Got the good old uh, mower out. Taking all the tape off, I didn't realize how many thick layers I'd put on all them years ago. And the stick itself is quite thin. There's a string my dad put on like 30 years ago, so hold it on. Remember I put a bit of sellotape around first just to get the extra security before I put the tape on all them years ago. Crazy. All the glue on the tapes turned to powder, so be careful not to breathe that in. But yeah, this is the dismantling stage. Right then. And there it is, bless it. Quite a uh, basic kind of You see where he's cut the little notches there for the, the strings to hold the bands on. The wood looks different colour to it. For some reason, I've put some sellotape there over the bands, I don't know why, but the wood looks different colour to the wood here. The wood's aged differently. But uh, yeah, we get a bit of sanding. Probably tomorrow now, actually, because it's late, but yeah. In the next clip, we'll uh, show you how it's looking. Right then, we're now at the sanding process. Now, looking back, I really wish I didn't put the blooming gaffer tape all over it because like, the glue was kind of really soaked into it. I mean, it's taking forever to get off, even with a really coarse sandpaper. This is just a an Amazon delivery box that I've opened up to sand on because I'm kind of enjoying a beer while I'm doing this in my front room. Don't tell the wife I'm sanding stuff in the front room, she'll go mad, but yeah. Kind of hard to get this, the glue that over 30 years has kind of gone into the wood. Hopefully, we'll be able to get it back to its former glory. But one thing I did notice it is quite small and thin. Uh, now, bear in mind, when my dad made me this, I was only seven. So I suppose he didn't want to make it too big. And it, I'm mean, he made it really quick. I mean, he just chipped away at this kind of thing just for the place for the bands and stuff. But I'll try and smooth them up a bit around the corners off at the top here to make it smoother so it don't hurt the bands. We'll keep going, we'll see what we come up with. Okay, next stage. Got it sanded down, pretty good to be honest. Rounded all the edges, made it all really nice and smooth. It's coming out good. Just gonna get one more final go with some really fine sandpaper. Then, we're gonna varnish it. Let it dry, and we've got the bands. And there you have it guys, all varnished, nice and smooth with a fresh set of bands on, all ready to go. I just need it to stop raining now, so I can have a few shots with it. But yeah, really happy how it's turned out. I just hope it shoots okay. <laughs> right, time to give it a test. Made a little homemade target there. 
cardboard box with a pillar in the back, a bit of paracord, and a spinner on it. There it is, ready to give it first shot. Now, I'm a total noob when it comes to firing a slingshot. Uh, but me and my daughter, we've been practicing together for the last, last couple of weeks, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, let's see if it works. She's actually better than me. <laughs> Good girl. Stand it back up. Right, go get it. See if you can do it two in a row. <laughs> This is ridiculous, two in a row, you've hit it both times. Ah, oh, she's better than me. I just remembered, she didn't have her safety glasses on on that last one. She has now. Go ahead and see if you can hit it again. You are getting in, turned into a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> she's hitting it every time, bless her. I'll put the can in front of the flipper, spinner, whatever it's called. Right, go on then. Oh, it, it just touched it, didn't it? Yeah. That, that can't. Nice. You want to go? Your favourite one? Yeah. <laughs> Good. You want to go? In a minute. Also, we've been practicing with this one, this uh, wasp uh, unifox. This one's through the forks and they, I don't, they want to refurbish over the top obviously but I think I enjoy the through the forks one, this one seems to have more luck with this one. Yeah, through the forks Cool. Right, thank you very much for watching. Uh, a few extra clips jumped up in there, just us having fun. That's what it's about, isn't it? But we'll get better. Emma's already better. She's well better than me. <laughs> See you next time.